the relation between the saturation of the hemoglobin and oxygen tension is studied by examination of dissociation curve of the oxyhemoglobin as in front of you you could see this is the um dissociation curve as in you can see the hemoglobin saturation percentage and the partial pressure of oxygen and you see that as the saturation percentage as the concentration increases the saturation percentage also increases and this is the systemic arterial blood oxygen dissociation curve also called as the oxygen equilibrium curve is a sigmoid at normal condition so this is a sigmoid curve the s shaped sigmoid curve with an increase in the concentration of the carbon dioxide in the tissues curve shifts right side and the percentage of the oxygen in the hemoglobin decreases due to the more dissociation of oxyhemoglobin and by decrease in the concentration of the carbon dioxide in the tissue curve it shifts towards the left side and the percentage of the carbon dioxide in the hemoglobin becomes more due to low dissociation of the oxyhemoglobin Now the question is, when carbon dioxide concentration in the blood increases, breathing becomes what? A. Shallower and slow. B. There is no effect on breathing. C. Slow and deep. Or is it D. Faster and deeper. And the answer is faster and deeper. It is faster and deeper d so when carbon dioxide concentration in blood increases blood uh, the breathing of the person becomes faster and deeper now talking about the oxygen dissociation curve students so uh, now the oxygen dissociation curve p15 is the partial pressure of the oxygen at which uh, hemoglobin is 50% saturated with oxygen and its normal value is 30 mm now talking about the factors affecting oxygen dissociation curve the first very factor is temperature here so temperature oxygen dissociation curve turns to the right side with increase in temperature so increase in temperature is going to lead the curve to move to its right now the oxygen disso uh, dissociation curve turns to the right side and oxygen binding capacity of the hemoglobin is lowered with increase in the partial pressure of the carbon dioxide that means that partial pressure of the carbon dioxide also is a affecting factor uh, on the oxygen dissociation curve so Uh, in the presence of the partial pressure of the carbon dioxide oxygen dissociation curve turns to the right side and oxygen binding capacity of the hemoglobin is lowered with an increase in the partial pressure of the carbon dioxide the ph oxygen uh, dissociation curve turns right side with a decreased ph Uh, moreover dissociation of the oxyhemoglobin with the, uh, will increase when the ph of the blood falls or the h plus ion concentration of the blood rises now moving on to another question the question is reduction of ph of the blood will do what the options are reduce the blood supply to the brain decrease the affinity of the hemoglobin with oxygen reduce the bicarbonate ions by the liver or is it uh, reduce the rate of the heartbeat So what do you think is the answer? So the answer here is B decrease the affinity of hemoglobin with oxygen students reduction in the pH of the blood will decrease the affinity of the hemoglobin with oxygen Now talking about another factors uh, the factor affecting the oxygen dissociation curve the fourth factor that was a fetal hemoglobin so the pressure of the fetal hemoglobin shifts the curve towards the left the fetal hemoglobin definitely has the effect the fetal hemoglobin the shift is observable because the fetal hemoglobin has a higher degree of affinity with oxygen than the normal hemoglobin students 